Hello, Veteran 0 and 2 in here. Welcome back, and this is my replay of Final Fantasy IV bonus episodes. In the last episode, I completed the game for the very first time. So yeah, I'm going to show the stuff that transfers over to a new game plus. Golden apples transfer over, silver apples, and by the way, I didn't mention this uh, before I did the finale episode, but uh, it took me about 200 sirens and I got 48 silver apples. So that might give you a general idea of, uh, of basically the ratio of sirens to apples that you'll actually get from those lamias. I think it's like 24% uh, every time you, uh, you fight one of those things. So it's a very good percentage with the treasure hunter augment. Normally it's 12%, but it's actually 24%. At the summit of Mount Ordeals, using sirens to fight the Lamias to get silver apples. So that in the in the game is the best place to farm for those. So if you want to increase your character's HP in the last playthrough you plan on doing, uh, whether it be the second or the third playthrough, that's what you can do. Sama drops, uh, yeah, these also transfer over to a new game plus. These uh, increase max MP by 10. I'll be feeding these to a certain old sage-like character later on. And uh, yeah, the adamant armors, they transfer over, just like all the onion equipment. I have one onion sword. I plan on getting another onion sword in this playthrough. Two more adamant armors, and then I'll go for one last adamant armor in the third playthrough. So yeah, I'm just divvying it up because I can't sit there for forever and try to get five adamant armors at one time. I'll go insane. Because <laughs> it took me forever to get the second adamant armor. I mean, it's based on luck. Anyways, to go over the abilities, yeah, basically you can start with a setup like this. I just omitted his darkness command because I'm not going to need it. I got Rose's Love, which will boost his attack power plenty enough HP to increase his survival rate. Uh, because I cannot use the Adamant Armor with Dark Knight Cecil, so, uh, yeah. Right now as Dark Knight, he's going to be weaker than pretty much any character in the game, even Spoonie. Because Spoonie can equip the Adamant Armor, and Dark Knight Cecil can't, <laughs> which I think is kind of funny. Anyways, okay, we'll look at Kane's abilities. Yeah, I got focus on him with auto battle, kick, jump, darkness, focus. Same setup I had for him at the end of the game. Now, as far as the stuff that Kane can equip, as you can see, I can't really equip anything on Cecil. He, yeah, as a Dark Knight. He can't equip anything other than his dark equipment, but yeah, I can put an onion sword on Kane, which isn't that strong because I'm only at level 10 with him. Basically, the attack uh, value there, as you can see, it's 20. It's uh, your level times 2, so that's why the attack value of the onion sword is 20. Alright, now as far as the armor, uh, yeah, I can put adamant armor on, it, on him, and he will be God. He'll have, like, plus 15 to all his stats. His defense will go up immensely. He'll pretty much, yeah, he'll, he won't, he won't die. So yeah, I just wanted to show that stuff off. That's pretty much what you start with in a new game plus, typically. And that's mainly the stuff that carry over. Everything else uh, you have to acquire again, whether it be ribbons, cursed rings, uh, pr crystal rings, protect rings, you know, all that stuff. So there you go. Alright, just to give you guys a general idea of how fucking overpowered I am at this point, let me just attack with Cecil. Oh, he'll just counterattack. Now watch with Rose's Love. Yeah. Remember uh, Dark Knight Cecil's attack power uh, in the first part of the game here, in the first playthrough? Yeah. He's a lot stronger with this augment. A lot stronger. And with draw attacks and counter, he's going to be attacking all over the place, killing pretty much everything. So even if Dark Knight Cecil doesn't have the boon of the adamant armor, he's still going to be whooping ass. Anyways, the next boss for Dark Knight Cecil might pose a little threat, but that's alright. I've got the brace augment, so I shouldn't have to worry about it. And yeah, return once you came, blah, blah, blah. You're going to ignore my warning, blah, blah, blah. So be it, Mist is gathering. This fucking Mist Dragon doesn't stand a chance.
Yeah, I mean, oh, look at that, it's dead already. <laughs> Counterattack, critical hit, death. Well, I guess I won't be showing off the power of Kane and Focus and Jump and the Onion Sword until the Barbaricia fight then. <laughs> In which case, he'll be a lot stronger then. But, uh, yeah. There you go. See, this is the first time I've actually played a New Game Plus with the question marks augment powered up. Because in the DS version, you couldn't power it up unless you used like a cheat code. So that is definitely imp an improvement over the DS version. I hated that fucking bullshit where you can only power the crap up with wit battles. So, whatever. Oh, also another thing I need to mention for this part right here. Uh, let's say you're afraid that Kane's actually going to run off with the Onion Sword and the Adamant Armor so you, so you unequip them. Uh, if you actually forget to do this, uh, the Onion Sword and the Adamant Armor will actually be put back in your inventory. So he actually won't run off with your shit, which is, which is nice. He'll run off with the other stuff, like the Iron Shield and Iron Helm that he's got equipped. But, uh, the Adamant Armor and the Onion Sword will be returned to your inventory, which is really nice, because... The first time I did a New Game Plus, I actually did forget to unequip his stuff, and... I, I thought I was going to have to reset the game and do that part over again, but yeah, don't worry about the equipment unless, you know, you really care about his iron equipment, which, at this point, you shouldn't care. If you have, like, even one adamant armor, you're, you're good to go, because the adamant armor is amazing. So, there you go. Alright, ready to take on the Octo Mammoth. I might as well go over my setup here. Adamant armor on Rydia. Really, that's all she needs. Cecil, I got his stuff that I, I got the Shadow Blade to make his attack slightly higher than it's already ridiculously high number before. And uh, Tella, yeah, he has the, uh, the Adamant Armor. So uh, we're going to be wrecking ass. I got Bluff on Tella. I don't know if I'm even going to use it in this battle. But um, yeah, this is going uh, to be a joke. This really is going to be a joke. As you can see, this thing barely... Holy crap, look at that damage. A thousand, right from the get-go. Well, I'm not going to be one-shotting this boss. That's fine. Yeah, it's just going to attack Cecil, and Cecil's going to bring the pain! Oh yeah. You better believe it. So, can I get the Tella's turn, please? Excellent! The beast is weakening! Don't be lulled into thinking we've won! Uh, this beast is not going to be dangerous to us, because we are overpowered. Like you wouldn't believe. <laughs> it's dead. See you later! Yeah, the brace, counter, draw attacks combo is pretty damn amazing. Ready went up two levels, wow. But yeah, I'm blowing through this even more than I have before with that Rose's Love augment being powered up. It's pretty damn amazing. So there you go. Alright, got Spoonie in my party. Let's give him the Adamant Armor. Yes, even Spoonie will be a lot less Spoonie with the Adamant Armor, because it will increase Spoonie's craptacular defense to actually very, very godlike. And it will increase all his horrible stats by 15. So yeah, now he'll actually be pretty damn good. He still sucks, but he'll be a lot better than before. Anyways, what I want to do now that I have Spoonie in my party on the second playthrough, let's actually give this son of a bitch some augments. I got a second auto potion augment. Uh, you you gain augments again as you play through the game. The, the, the augments that you automatically get, or the augments that you find, you can find again, a lot of them. You can't find all the augments again, but most of them you can. 
So yeah, I'm gonna give this auto potion augment to Spoonie because it's worthless. I don't like that augment at all, so it's good to give as fodder to characters that uh, pretty much you don't have any use for it. Uh, Gil Farmer? Yeah, why not? Whatever. I can get, if I really want more Gil from battles, I can always get that augment again uh, from the Trojan pub area or that members club or whatever the hell it is. Yeah, I'll uh, I'll give that one to freaking Spoonie. That way uh, I can get augments from him later. The hide and salve augments. So yeah, I'll be showing those off later. And uh, yeah, that's pretty much it for now. I guess I'll be showing the mom bomb fight again. Oh wait, never mind. I take that back. The antlion fight. Alright, time to take on the antlion again. Let's see how much Freaking damage we can do to this thing. So yeah, blah blah blah. Let's take the pros. Ching! Oh my goodness, it's evil. It wants to kill us. But it doesn't stand a chance. That's right. This fucker does not stand a chance. I'm not even gonna worry about uh, what kind of attacks this guy is gonna use. Yeah, look at that. 600 damage right from the get-go. Oh, it's gonna hit Spoonie with pincers and miss. Ha! I don't even need to use Life's Anthem, but I'm going to anyways. Who cares if it counters magic when its eyes are red? I don't give a fuck. I have adamant armor. I don't give a shit. Yeah, I don't even know why I'm bracing. Why am I bracing right now? I shouldn't be bracing. Look at that damage. Can't even hit us with that attack. I suppose I might be able to do more damage with Cecil if I had the darkness ability equipped, but... Fuck it, man. Don't need it. But yeah, that's the ant lion. Again. Yeah, that's Spoonie leveled up. Yay. So yeah, that battle was in, like just ridiculously easy. And it's going to get even more ridiculous later on, trust me. It's going to get very, very ridiculous. These bosses are going to get really, really easy. Alright, let's take on the Mom Bomb. You know what I mean? You know what I'm saying? Yeah, I don't need to see this crap again. What's this? Come Clever on, that. I'm trying to skip That's this. A monk of Tabul. God, Jesus, why did it take so long? Yes, I'm so scared. I am so scared. Oh. Yes. But yeah, that's pretty much the same as the last playthrough. Because, uh... Yeah, you don't have an opportunity to mess around with Yang's equipment uh, at this point, so... Yeah, I won't have to worry about Spoonie and Rydia dying for this first part here, and ow! Fucking cock! Yeah, I'll just put Cecil in Brace. That's really all you gotta do. Oh no! Storing up energy! Energy to kill us! Yeah, the only one I... Well, I suppose I need to Brace with Yang too. So yeah, I'll Brace with Yang. <coughs> And Rosa and Sus, otherwise the other two characters, they'll be fine. They have Adam in armor. Or at least I think they'll be fine. Pretty sure they'll be fine. She's about to blow! Yeah, like I thought. Yeah, Life's Anthem. 
it should be good and uh, yeah Cecil is just going to uh, kill them all with his counter attacks say we'll all target him cuz he's the one with draw attacks Oh, you're lucky you missed. Oh, you're gonna pay for that. But yeah, as you can see, draw attacks, counter, is just an amazing combination. It makes any character you give it to quite godly. I mean, I give it to C Cecil, mainly because he's always in your party and it's that fucking good. But yeah, I'll be showing the uh, the, the Cecil Kane fight next, and uh, that should be interesting, right? I mean, now I've got some good augments with Cecil. He should be doing pretty good. He should be able to hold his own against Kane, I think. Huh? What the hell? What are you doing up here? I've already got your safe travel augment. I'm just still just traveling the world with no particular destination. Well, until we meet again. All right. So if I've already got the augment from him, what's the point of him appearing in these random places? Whatever game. All right. I'm gonna show the fight between Kane again, just to see how much uh, stronger Cecil is and how much. Uh, how much more it's going to take for Kane to actually take him out. So, uh, I'm going to be using the Brace Command and Counter in this next fight against Kane. So, let's do it. Got a lot more HP this time. I will not answer your questions. Okay, so the first jump he does, I can't even block. It freaking sucks. So yeah, I'm just gonna stay in brace mode and let this guy attack me. Maybe I'll be able to last longer that way, maybe not, I don't know. What, I'm not going to counter that? I'm not going to counterattack that. Wow, that's a waste. Well, I guess I'll just be attacking normally then. That doesn't make any sense. The end? I freaking dealt like over a thousand damage to you. But what? Kane, even you now? I wasn't even close to being dead Let there. Me ease your suffering. You'll do nothing. Whatever, I don't need to show this again, but Stop. Yeah, man, are you kidding me? Are you freaking kidding me? They just end the battle. You it's, shouldn't Cecil be at least in critical HP for that battle to end there. Wow, I was kind of hoping for something to last a lot longer than that, but oh well. Figured I'd at least show it. Alright, I think I'm going to end the episode right here. That's all for this episode, this bonus episode of Final Fantasy IV. In the next episode, I'm going to be showing off more bosses again with, uh, with beefed up augments and equipment. And uh, just basically showing you how easy they are the second time around. Mainly. So, there you go. This is Veteran0121. I'd like to thank you guys for watching, and I will see you next time.